In this video, we're going to go over exponents and two particular exponents, one where the exponent is zero and another where the exponent is negative. Very basically, x to the zero is one. Anything raised to the zero is one anytime x does not equal zero. Uh, for the negative exponents, if let's say we have x to the negative four, this means that we just put it as one over x to the fourth. We'll certainly talk more about both of these. Starting with x to the zero, anything raised to the zero is one. X to the, uh, well, I already did that one. Let's do three to the zero is one. Four to the zero is one. Negative two to the zero is one. Uh, one half to the zero is also one. Anything raised to the zero is one, except zero. Zero to the zero is undefined. I'd love to talk more about that, but don't have time. You can learn about this on Wikipedia, or just consider graphing 0 to the x. Graph that and see what happens. Talking about negative exponents now. We take x to the 7th over x to the 10th. Well, when we're dividing, we subtract the exponents. So this is 1 over x cubed because 10 minus 7 is 3. We can say subtract and the larger one wins, so it's an x cubed here. We could also do this another way. It's x to the 7 minus 10. You take the exponent in the numerator and subtract from it the exponent in the denominator. So x to the 10, uh, sorry, 7 minus 10 is x to the negative 3, which equals 1 over x cubed. So very basically, let's just keep with this x cubed here x cubed, sorry, to the negative 3 equals 1 over x cubed. Or uh, 1 over x cubed equals x to the negative 3. Works both ways. Also, too, if we have 1 over, let's say, a to the negative 4, we're going to go, we can put that in the numerator, that becomes a to the fourth. So if this is really technically in the numerator. If we have an x a variable with an exponent in the numerator and the exponent is negative, put it in the denominator. If we have a variable with a negative exponent in the denominator, put it in the numerator. Again, this is kind of over 1. Okay. So another example, x squared y cubed over x to the fourth y. Well, we can write this as x to the 2 minus 4 times y to the 3 minus 1. 2 minus 4 is negative 2, so that's x to the negative 2 times y to the 2. And we can write that as y squared over x squared. We also could have gotten from here directly to there just by going well. Uh, the bases are the same. We subtract the exponent. The larger one wins. It's x squared. Subtract the exponents, the larger one wins. It's y squared. If you needed to write this, though, with a negative exponent, it would be x to the negative 2 times y squared. And let's take uh, an example here. x to the negative 2 over y cubed. Well, if it's in the numerator, we're going to put it in the denominator. So we have 1 over x squared y cubed. And if we have, let's keep it x squared y to the negative 3. If we have a negative exponent in the denominator, we put it in the numerator. This becomes x squared y cubed. Okay, x squared over y cubed to raised to the negative 1. If we uh, are raising a um, problem here to the negative 1, we can distribute that negative 1 throughout, and we would get x to the negative 2 over y cubed, negative cubed, which would be y cubed over x squared. So another way to look at this is just to invert this what's inside here when you have a negative exponent outside. And 
number six here. A squared over uh, B cubed raised to the negative two. Well, if we have a negative exponent outside here, we can invert this fraction, B cubed and A squared, and then distribute that uh, exponent. So we'd have B to the sixth over A to the fourth. Another way to do this would be just to distribute that negative two. We'd have a to the negative four over b to the negative six, which gives us b to the sixth over a to the fourth. Same, th same answer, two different ways to do it. Okay, two a cubed b to the fourth over three a to the first, b to the fifth, raised to the zero. Well, anything raised to the zero is just one. Doesn't matter what you're raising to the zero, as long as it doesn't equal zero itself, the answer is one. And one last problem here. Five x to the negative 2, y to the fourth, over y, z to the negative fourth, raised to the negative 2. Well, there is more than one way to do this. When I'm doing problems like this and there's a negative exponent outside, I like to just invert the fraction. So I'm going to go y, z to the negative 4, over 5, x to the negative 2, y to the 4th, squared. By removing that negative sign, I just inverted everything. Notice I did not change, you know, this is z to the negative 4, z to the negative 4. I didn't change any of the exponents inside here. I simply inverted it and removed that negative sign there. Uh, let me simplify what's inside here now. We have uh, I'm just going to draw my fraction bar. I'm going to put the 5 here. I have an x to the negative 2. I'm going to take these in alphabetical order. x to the negative 2, well, if it's in the denominator, put it in the numerator. That's an x squared. My y's, oh, there's one in the numerator and one in the denominator. I can go ahead and just rewrite them as I've got, or I can simplify this. This is y to the 1. This is y to the 4. So we have y cubed in the denominator z to the negative 4 in the numerator becomes z to the 4 in the denominator, and that's squared. So raise a power to a power, we multiply the exponents, that's x to the 4th. 5 squared is 25. y cubed squared is y to the 6th, and z to the 4th squared is z to the 8th. I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.